Aloha. Welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career and or business. Tiffany Statton, Realtor Associate from Locations LLC Diamond Head Office and Stefan Kant, Lender from Honolulu Home Loans, were our guests on our last week's show and their words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services website, newmanconsultingservices.com or our landing page, danelia.org. According to the SBA, or Small Business Administration, there are over 121,000 small businesses in Hawaii, with almost 24,000 small businesses with employees, 97,151 small businesses without employees, and 258,345 workers employed by small businesses. Bottom line, small business in Hawaii hires over half of the state's private workforce, and we are thrilled to have a successful Hawaii business owner as our guest to provide insights on how to be a successful entrepreneur. Today's topic is Imagine, Believe, and Achieve. Joining us in the studio today as our honor guest is Mr. Paul Brown. He is a successful international recognized master hairstylist, educator, businessman, founder, and CEO of Paul Brown Companies. Mahalo. Thank you so much for having me on. Good to see you, Paul. (laughs) It's been a while, so we're really thrilled to have you on the show. I'm happy to be here. And everybody wants to know how they could look better. (laughs) Well, you know, we're all challenging challenging ourselves. You know, exercising is really important. All right. Getting enough sleep is really important. All right. That's very true. So, Paul, briefly share with our viewers, if you will, what prompted you to pursue a career? Well, I'm a major dyslexic. And when I was going to school, they didn't even have a diagnosed yet, dyslexia, ADD, I'm obsessive, compulsive, all of those wonderful things. So my parents were, you know, sent me to private school, but were kind of concerned about what direction, being that I had a really hard time reading Mm. or any, anything that dealt with, you know, that kind of uh, using your visual Mm -hmm. for reading or numbers. So it was very difficult for me. And um, uh, my uh, uncle, my great uncle was a captain in the merchant marine fleet from the UK. He'd come to Oakland Harbor and the kids that worked on the ship were 16 years old and they brought the I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles mm-hmm. and, and a 45. <laughs> it made yeah. some of your, uh, most of your viewers are going to know what a yeah, 45 Yes, I is. remember, unfortunately. But, <laughs> but it, you know, and I loved the hair and my hair was really thin and they were you know, using clippers for it, so I started cutting my own hair. Mm-hmm. So you know, we live close to the Haight-Ashbury in San Francisco, so it was a time that there was a lot of change. Mm-hmm. So I started cutting my own hair, I started cutting my brother's hair, started charging 50 cents a haircut in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. The girl down the street went to cosmetology school, she showed me how to do perms and colors, so by the time I was 14, 15, wow. I was making a couple hundred dollars a month, yes. and at that time that was pretty good change. Oh yes it was. And I was very frugal, so I saved it, but that's how I started in the yeah. industry. Oh, right. uh, when I got out of high school, got, uh-huh. you know, I don't know how that happened, but I was able to uh, go to cosmetology school. My parents sent me to cosmetology school. I was hired out of school by a company in New York to come to New, to New York to uh, get trained by Mr. Kenneth, who was Jacqueline Kennedy's hairdresser and Lady mm-hmm. Astor. Oh. So for six months, I had this incredible experience wow. at 18 years old, mm. turned wow. 19 in New York. Then I was made an art director, there was like uh, 12 of us. They had 1,600 salons. Hawaii was on the horizon. They were doing a lease at the uh, Liberty House at the time. Mm-hmm. And I said yes. Nobody yeah. else wanted to go. And wow. I said yes. And that was 1970. That was, wow. so, so you were an entrepreneur so, right from yes, the beginning. Yes, right from the early well, start. Actually, yes. 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 No, no. I was, I was <laughs> in regards to that. Because, okay. I, you know, I come from uh, uh, depression mentality. Yes. My grandparents. And, you know, parents were very frugal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah. And then, you know, right. I understood what cash was. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I think, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably right. as well as far as that part of it. Yeah. Okay. So you started your first hair salon in Hawaii in 1971, yes. right? This is, so yeah, what this, was your vision for it? Well, I, you know, I went back to New York. They brought me back to New York because uh-huh. you only last, you only like a year you were, you know, they give you a lot of press. So in Hawaii, of course, I met everyone. Mm. You know, I mean, there, was, right. there was no one here right. that did what I did at the time. Mm. You know, hair cutting with a scissor because everyone was yeah. doing tees and wigs and, yeah. you know, uh, scents under the dryer still. Mm-hmm. And so I brought in this new technique. So it got a lot of press. And, you know, I loved it. I bought a house in Kailua. I, you know, got a Hobie cat. I was on the beach every day, you know, yeah. morning at 5 a.m. on the my Hobie cat right? and then yeah. driving over to Wild <laughs> Wild. It was incredible. Yeah. I really had it. And so when I went back to New York, when they finally, you know, it all shut down, I rented the house. 
and you know they brought me back to New York because only a year, and then somebody would follow you, and then mm. you'd follow somewhere else that okay. somebody else was. That's how they grew the company. Right. And at the time, it was um, winter. Whoa. And I was there two months, and I went to the office at Seymour. I got to go back to Hawaii. You got to <laughs> let me have my job back. Yeah, I, right. I, I can't do this. I just, you know, he said, you know what? We can't. You know, we can't do that because we've sent somebody in your place that's grow. That we're growing. And he said, you know what? You should open your own shop. Yeah. There you go. Wow. And, and you just he, at from 92, there. he passed, mm -hmm. and I knew him and saw him every time he came to Hawaii for dinner when yeah. he came here, because. That was the most amazing thing for a guy like that who had trained yes. me how to. They trained me how to dress. They trained me how to go to theater and opera. And, mm -hmm. You know, even though in San Francisco I had to go to the opera sometimes because of the school I went to. But you know, it was really you know they introduced me to the Warhol scene, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. you know Versace, Steve Rebell. That company was really understood the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So I had an incredible education from mm -hmm. these guys. You know, it doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. This kind of opportunity, mm -hmm. and um, that's how we got started in the business. What was his name again? You said. Seymour Finkelstein. Mm -hmm. He was. He, he sounds like a true philanthropist. Oh, he was. A, he the family still is. Mm -hmm. the, I still know the sons pretty mm -hmm. well. Uh, the company became Glemby. It's mm -hmm. publicly traded now. In the most recent, you know, it, was, it went crazy. I mean, they really grew it. That we just grew it. Mm -hmm. It had so many different brands. You know, many different brands, including the Sassoon brand. Mm -hmm. So they grew this company, and unfortunately, it's it shifted. You know, the industry shifted dramatically. Mm -hmm. But he saw in you what you are today. And, and uh, I, I, yeah, they, they had such exposure, mm -hmm. and they understood artists, mm -hmm. of course. I mean, Mr. Mm -hmm. Kenneth was the major player mm -hmm. at the time in the United States. I mean, he was an amazing uh, artist. And so they understood how to, to groom artists, how to you know, train um, uh, that side, the left side of the brain, right side mm -hmm. of the brain, intellect. And yeah, he was a great guy. They were mm -hmm. really good people. So, Paul, how do you define success, and when the, uh, what do you most attribute your success to? Um, my, I, I think my success, a lot of it had to do with luck. You know, I mean, I had this little... And you know what luck is? Preparation meets well, opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know that, but, you know, and, and but really, um, I, I had this little innate talent, so I was able to, you know, utilize the talent. I love people. I love being around people. I love that whole experience. So I really am a hairdresser. I love that still mm -hmm. experience that I have with my clients. Um, the fun of growing things mm. was interesting. You know? wow. So, you know, I, we just, I just started, you know, developing, you know, growing companies. You know, mm -hmm. just, you know we went okay. to, from hair salons to advertising. You know, we, mm -hmm. we did a, companies that would help support the growth of the salon division, mm -hmm. which became successful on their own, model agency. Uh, we mm -hmm. had a little jewelry business that we rolled. We, were, uh, we got into the um, food business with David Paul Catering. Mm -hmm. It became David Paul Restaurants. You know, we had we had no affiliate. We, we started the, because we had parties and we had social mm -hmm. events, and you know, yeah. so we all of those things synergized to create this identity that became an international. It was one stop identity. shopping. It well, really was. You could do, and we did, you know, a lot of stuff for Liberty House. We did mm -hmm. a lot of stuff for uh, operations in San Francisco because we also had the San Francisco mm -hmm. salon. So I was going back and forth, and then to New York once a week also at that time to do editorial and you know uh, that it was it was a lovely but fabulous you, experience bottom line though you know you can have you can you can do any kind of career like you could be a hairdresser a hairstylist pardon me you can be a hairstylist but not everyone becomes successful like you well you've got to be able you've got to be willing to fall down and get up right mm -hmm. i mean that's the biggest thing yes. i think for any entrepreneur is to you know, admit that you're going to, and realize, and going into it, because I didn't even think about being an entrepreneur. It mm -hmm. wasn't even the thought, you know, mm -hmm. we, I just, I was living this life, yes. you know, there wasn't, it wasn't like this plan to, you know, it, it became that, yes. but it was just fun. I mean, we were having right. fun. I think passion is really mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. um, being able to get up mm -hmm. and keep moving yes. when you make mistakes, so true. And when people, <laughs> you know, all, you know, and just keep yeah. moving forward. I do think that if, if, if anyone out there, any young, maybe young or somebody that really wants to get into a, an mm -hmm. entrepreneurial uh, s the spirit, the passion mm -hmm. is what's going to drive you. So true. Okay. It's loving what you do yes. mm -hmm. and just you know, getting up and wanting to eat it, breathe it, yes. you know, and, and live it. What well, we teach in our school, we have a vocational school, and we teach our, our, our students to, uh, you don't have to win every time but you have to give it a winning effort oh, yeah. every time. And once you do that, uh, the universe will, will yeah. be there for you 
and uh, help you through those challenges when you don't. Yeah, you know, uh, this is perfect uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, logic. The, the reality for me is so different because it wasn't, I mean, we had struggles, mm -hmm. but when we hit, we hit so hard that it was just, mm -hmm. it went nuts. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like, we, anything we did was, you know, the opportunity for me here also was there was nothing here. There was nothing like right. we had here at right. that time. Nothing. Right. Now there's plenty of creative things going on here, but really there was nothing. So all the creative people in town, mm -hmm. in photography or, you know, any of them that wanted to, you know, uh, and the models, you know, mm -hmm. anyone who wanted to be involved with something, we they came to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we they worked with us. Mm -hmm. So th actually, you know, th a lot of, you know, to create an identity or to create, you know, this kind of uh, opportunity for, it was a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's a lot of talent and mm -hmm. a lot of people that, you know, f that got me excited right. to keep going, keep right. moving, and keep doing well, this. Well, because thing. sustainability now, you know, we've been in business for over 30 years, you as well. And so, well, you know, my industry is unheard of. Yeah, that's I'm right. 46 years yeah. Isn't it. that just, something? Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm one of the only ones left in the industry wow. of my gentry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably the well, one of the only ones. I don't know of any other, but there has to be that has salons that are still employee based mm -hmm. because nobody has. Everyone leases now. Yes. They lease or 1099 yes, or whatever. Right. So it's a very different movie. Yes. You know, it's a very different industry from when I was. But it's sure. totally different. Yes. It's totally yeah. different. It's it shows crazy. that you you love what oh, you no, do. Oh no, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. You love what you do. I, I wouldn't know what to do. You know, like I'll take time off, or mm -hmm. you know, I'll take you know, even if I'll have a, a whole day off and. You know, I used Rare, to work, rarely though, right? Well, now, now a little more, more? but a little more. Like yeah. I'm taking today off, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, which is like, and here you are. And we thank, <laughs> and we well, thank no, you so I'm much. I'm taking today off. Uh, you know, I'm doing yes. this. I worked out this morning, and then yeah. I have the afternoon off. I'm, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, yeah, but I'll figure out something. Mm -hmm. But I actually, um, you know, no, I'm smelling the roses more. I work about 40 hours a week. I used mm -hmm. to work. Hundred. I mean, it was yeah. my whole life was work, you yeah. know, because every, I get in the elevator. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. you know, you're when you're, when you're Paul Brown, you're always going to be Paul Brown. Yes. So getting on the elevator, getting yeah, in, you know, yeah. you know, and um, you know, I, I'm I'm like a lucky guy, and I'm not, and I'm very privileged to have uh, to have had the opportunities that I've had. Right. You're blessed. Well, uh, something like that. Oh. Well, <laughs> we're going to take a short break. Um, this is Keys to Success on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We're talking with Paul Brown from Paul Brown Companies regarding our topic, Imagine, Believe and Achieve. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be returning in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success with Paul Brown. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And this is Crystal That's Quark. right. I'm Crystal, and I host Quark Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do? <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important, and, and sometimes they're a little shocking. And you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Hi, I'm Marianne Sasaki. We just completed another great episode of Life in the Law. And I'm here today with Jay Fidel. Hi, Jay. Hi, Marianne. And what do we love about the law, Jay? There's so much to love about it, right? There's more to love about it all the time. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> we have to be a nation of laws. We have to be a nation of laws, and we have to be a diligent nation of law, of law, law lawyers and citizens. It's all about the rule of law, Mary. Yes. The rule of law is alive and well and life in the law. Yes, it, yes, it certainly is. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, offering lifelong learning from passionate hosts and fascinating guests ready to explore and explain Hawaii's place in the 21st century. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. Welcome back. This is Keys to Success on the ThinkTech live streaming network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Paul Brown from Paul Brown Companies regarding our topic, Imagine, Believe and Achieve. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and again, I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. Paul, Thank you, John. we're going to put you to the test. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready. You're doing well. So if you would, Paul, just share with us, you know, do you feel that there's a formula for success? Uh, do you, what do you think each entrepreneur should ask themselves? If they're willing to 
you know, give them them totally to uh, their passion, mm -hmm. which would be the business that they're mm -hmm. okay. is an entrepreneur in business. You That's know, the you, question that they should ask yeah, themselves. Okay. Yeah, in business, I think you have to be willing to, you know, move with the flow, and mm -hmm. you know, things change, mm -hmm. and you have to have a passion. If you don't have passion. Forget about being an right. If you're just doing it to have, make money, forget about it. Yeah, uh, we, we agree with it. that. Yeah. You have to love no, it. No, no, yeah, that's for You fun. go through so many challenging times, which brings me to the next question, which is how do you get through the challenging times? Because there are times when you don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning because it's just so overwhelming. Well, if I look back at things, and I know mm -hmm. that's probably going to be one of the questions, I probably only didn't feel like coming and getting out of bed because I partied too much. <laughs> Frankly, I mean, if you're going to ask, you know, because I, I noticed yeah. in the, you know, if, you know, what would I change? Yeah. It would mm. be, I party way too much. Uh -huh. I party like a rock star <laughs> because I hung out with them. Right, so I party right. like one. Fortunately, I had a business uh -huh. because it drove me to, you know, but I never, you know, it, I'm very, I was so lucky. I mean, sure, there were times that I just felt, you know, bummed out mm -hmm. like, you know, but I had clients. I had to get my Ocoli back. You know, mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to get up and I had to get out mm -hmm. and I got a, I had a staff. I mean, mm -hmm. I had responsibilities. So mm -hmm. I just had to keep moving. You know? Attitude has a lot to do with it. I mean, here we are sitting with you, Paul, and you're just so full of passion and just positive energy and positive attitude. That really has, is a substantial part of being successful. Absolutely. Yeah. And that brings yeah. us to the next question. Uh, what do you feel the top three keys for long-term success. I'm going to say, tell you the same things again. Well, that's passion, passion is number one. Passion. Passion, and the other two now are going to be very different. Passion about what you're doing, focus, mm -hmm. direction that you that makes you comfortable. That's going to you know, and the the, the, the other two things is care, really taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. getting exactly. enough sleep, yes. eating the right foods. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, share, being compassionate, you know, all the things that makes a good human being because mm -hmm. it, especially now mm -hmm. in, in the marketplace that I see, mm -hmm. you know, you really need to, people need to feel engaged mm -hmm. and if they're, you know, they're, they're, their employer or their, you know, uh, manager or whatever doesn't, you know, share uh, that feeling with mm -hmm. them, uh, uh, their passion or, mm -hmm. you know, I think you, you won't be successful. Yes, mm -hmm. I, you we, need we totally to, and I think <coughs> you know, really, uh, in bringing your people in and showing them how they can do investments, you mm -hmm. know, and showing them, you know, the way to, you know, direct their financial income yes. and you know the opportunities on actually showing your income so you can get a loan to buy a yes. house or mm -hmm. you know, a car or yes. something like that. You know, all the things that in my industry. Uh, a lot of these people don't know. Mm -hmm. They have no clue because right. we're artists. You know, so right. I mean, I, I didn't pay taxes for a long time because mm -hmm. I didn't know I was supposed to pay corporate <laughs> tax. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And so I had to re reinvent yeah. and, and start paying tax and yeah. learn. I had to learn all of that. Public right. thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not that I love it, but I had to learn it if I right. love, because my love required it. Right. You know, okay. the business required knowing these things because yes. you don't. You're going to get ripped off so many times, you know, yes. that you need to really figure it mm -hmm. out. You know, it's a story like Mick Jagger, which, you know, is a really cool person, I think is amazing, actually, still that he walks even. But the, the amazing thing about him is, he, you know, he was here oh, a while ago at the Sony, uh, had a, a party for him when Mr. Akita Morita was alive. Mm -hmm. I was one of his hairdressers, I was his hairdresser, Akita. So I went to the party, was talking with Mick Jagger and asking him, you know, how did you, you know, get yourself through, uh, he said, you know, all the things that happened with mm -hmm. your finances, because, mm -hmm. you know, he said, well, I got ripped off so many times mm -hmm. by managers and by people. I went back and learned how to accounting. That's right. So he now takes yes. care of all his own financial yes. stuff. That's yes. right. I think that as an artist, you know, yes. if there's any artist entrepreneurs, you should really take right. a look at that. Right. Because right. Yeah, because and well I think in any business too, you know, people want to focus on their craft, but you know, when you're a business owner, you've got to know everything. You cannot yeah. just focus on your craft. No. Sorry you about that, to, but that's the reality. You have to know ordering. You have yes. to know the whole game you have to so know that everything. you can watch out for. You got to yeah. watch it all. Know how to read a financial. Well, you got right. item, whatever artist you are. Right. Or you're going to get ripped off. So what mindsets? What mindset? help you make you successful i mean one of the things i see is is that you just never i mean you see challenges but it's like they just you just kept going there was just no well, you stopping. know like you i'm yeah. sure because you guys are yeah. entrepreneurs and yes. you know love people and yes. you know love life mm -hmm. um uh, you know <clears throat> I, I really believe that it has to do with um Loving what you're doing again, yes. but but also taking responsibility for loving yes. what you're doing. Okay. You know, yes. you have to take responsibility, and so many times, 
you don't want to, like yes. in, in the process, but you have to. You yeah. have to just go, you know what, get over yourself. Right. Move on. You know, it's only, a, it's just, nobody's gonna, it's not, it's only a business. Right. Nobody's gonna die. You're not right. gonna die. Right. You know, it was as many times because having an identity, you know, yeah. I was embarrassed about things, you know. Yeah. But then, like, you know, hey, look, you know, yeah. just get over it, move on. You know, uh, we've got this one life here, and we've got to it. enjoy every minute of it. And the moment we let, things wear us down and tear us down it just it you sacrificing that time that you have here. well this is, yeah. it, absolutely and the yeah. other thing about you know that is and it's not like i didn't feel like i was smelling the roses uh -huh. because i traveled so much but mm -hmm. it was always a show or yes. a hair show or you know this it's exhausting too it was it, <laughs> yeah. well yes yeah, it was and exhausting. now i mean it's just too much yes. anymore for me yeah. you know it's, it's enough just doing my client base yeah. and my workout program but i gotta tell you that I, there was never once, and I still don't feel like I missed out on anything yeah. because I had such a great ride. Yeah. You know, it's still, still riding. Come on, yeah. still yeah. riding. Come on, yeah. Yeah. I'm still having some fun. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I'm looking at maybe doing something new in, in this year. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, the one question, I, you know, sometimes when it's really challenging, you always look back and and uh, and you get to the next level, and you get to the next level, and you look back and you go, you know, was it worth it? And you go, absolutely, oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, you know, <laughs> absolutely, because. Yeah. You feel empower you empower yourself yes. by going through it. Oh, so so true. every time that you're down on the floor, and, yeah. you know, catatonic because yeah. you know how am I going to get that dime to take yeah. care of this and you know move this stuff around? But I want to do that. You 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 know you look at it and you go, you know what, you did it. Yeah, uh, so that's right. Keep, just keep going and just let it go and let you yeah, know, just let it go. Just and let it go. Let forgive yourself. Yes. number one. True. Okay, and For let it go and forgive the whole scene. You know, yes. just move on. You know, just keep what you can control, yeah. you control, and what you can't, that's you right. can't. Yeah. yeah. Now, share with us, if you will, what is one of the most successful moments that you've had in, in business? Um, you know, that's, a, I don't, I, I, I've just, I've been so fortunate. Yeah, I, I just, I can't. They're all successful moments, Yeah, right? I can't think yeah. of one in particular. Well, share a couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, it, when we hit a certain fruition, and I'm not going to go into numbers, oh, but right, I had no, this no, goal, no, no, you know, okay. once we started rolling this thing and I understood mm -hmm. how to read a financial, which I did, yeah. <laughs> and understood how the whole thing worked, mm -hmm. and I got pretty good at it. And yeah. it was like this innate talent in that direction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was kind of fun to challenge numbers, mm -hmm. you know, and see. And so we hit a number, you know, that was what I want, where I wanted to hit, mm -hmm. and we hit it a couple of years before we were, That's uh, great. before oh, the team, right. you know, the management team and everything thought we would, and yeah. I was really happy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, right. You know, because that, in, in my industry, you know, it's about creativity, but mm -hmm. also it's a business. Like, mm -hmm. I was on that board mm -hmm. of the International Salon Business Network. Well, why are you there? Tell us about the board. Well, that, I was there 10 years, vice mm -hmm. president, and it represents 15 billion in sales and service. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, there's international conglomeration of chains, you oh. know, 1,600 uh, operations, 3,000 operations, mm -hmm. you know, wow. I mean, this kind of thing. Pennies, you know, these kind of big operations, uh, sports clips. And I was uh, the only hairdresser, so oh. I learned a lot from those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they used me as a lobbyist um, on the Hill, so I was mm -hmm. able to, you know, uh, be the lobbyist for the industry um, uh, on the, for, uh, on, in uh, D.C. That was an incredible experience, mm -hmm. you know, learning how all that worked. And, yes. you know, so I think that was, in, in business, as a business um, acronym, this was the most interesting mm -hmm. because oh, I learned okay. so much more about you, you know multi units yes. and you know how how they manage them and how because we didn't do it that way right, <laughs> it right, took you, it right, took right. you all over the world it seemed yeah. oh in Asia and right. Italy oh, yeah. United Kingdom right. Egypt okay. Germany yeah. we've done I mean, shows pretty much in, even Shanghai I mean, yeah. so we've wow. uh, we've been around you know for a long time having a good time doing these shows right. okay. so let me ask you if you could travel back to day one of your startup and have 15 minutes with your former self to communicate any lessons you've, you've acquired um, with the intention of saving yourself mistakes and heartache, what would you tell yourself? I wouldn't have partied. As you much. wouldn't have partied. You mentioned that. Yeah. That's my, yeah. That was my Because that weighs down your body, your mind, everything, right? But also, yeah. you do stupid things. Yes. You know, so, you know, it would, there was a lot of embarrassing mm -hmm. situations, mm -hmm. which, you know, I've forgiven myself. Right. <coughs> mm -hmm. But if I were, if I had, if that would be the only thing I would change, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. The only thing. That's great. Because right. everything else was, um, important for the growth, uh -huh. my personal growth, because yes. I really, you know, I, I guess I was a businessman, but mm -hmm. I was way more an artist than a businessman, right. you know, still am, you know, right. but I did learn mm -hmm. how to become a businessman as far as, you know, making sure every, the numbers and the taxes got paid, and, right. you know, all, right. all the yeah, things we all that, have that, to do that it. rolls a business. Mm -hmm. so. 
So if you were conducting this interview, what question would you ask? This last question. Um, I, I think, I, you know, I would ask um, uh, why, you know, at this point, you know, I'll be 69 in a week. Why what? are, you, oh, happy are you still doing this? Yeah, yeah why, why are you still, okay, why are you still, are you still doing, doing this? Because I don't, wouldn't know what else to do. Yeah. Oh, I mean, right. really, no, yeah. no, I, I, I love life. Yeah. I love swimming. I love to go out. I work out. I mean, I love the, the ocean. I mm. love, but I just, I wouldn't, I just need something to keep my mind mm -hmm. moving. active. Yeah, yeah, it just, I'm not ready yet. Yeah. You know? okay. Because yeah. everybody keeps asking me, well, when are you going to retire? Yeah. Uh, Right. Believe it or not, we're out of time. Did that well, go quick or thank what? You so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. So we'll have to wrap it up. Um, John, would you like to share your quote of the day? Yes, I would. Uh, my quote of the day is by Stephen Covey, which says, I'm not a product of my circumstances, I'm a product of my decisions. Paul Brown's words of wisdom with regards to keys to success can be found on Newman Consulting Services webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com, and landing page, Denelia.org. Thank you so much, Thank you so Paul, much for, having me, you for joining us I, today, I, I sharing your insights on your keys to success. Very, very uh, valuable information. Think Tech Keys to Success will be back at Thursday, 11 a.m. So please tune in and ask your friends and families to do so as well. My name is Denelia. D-A-E. Oh, D-A-N. Oh, you're misspelling my name. <laughs> you're my husband. D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm another half of the duo, John Newman. We thank you all. Aloha. 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 All righty. <laughs>